Today we're photoshopping beer. Hey guys, my name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today we're doing beer and, uh, God, I wish I had a beer right here next to me. Do we have any beer left? Could you get me a beer so I can, yeah. Could you grab me a beer so I can drink beer during this episode? I think that would help out. We're going to make this really cool beer ad, and um, we're going to be combining some photos together. I'm going to show you guys today. We're going to be go doing the actual beers themselves, and then um, we're going to be creating a cool background. And then tomorrow, we're going to be doing all the splashes and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started, and uh, this is going to start off uh, relatively, um, you know, making sense. And as I drink beer, it's probably going to continue to make less and less sense, but it's going to be great. Let's go ahead and bring these together. So I've got these two images that we're gonna to put together. Um, I'm gonna just hold down shift and click and drag them t both together. Now, the reason why we took two images here is, um, oh, thank you, madame. Here's to you, Flurn community. Mm. There we go. Yeah, now I'm ready. I got the taste of beer in my mouth. I had to get the essence of beer. That, that was very important, okay. So, um, we took two different photos. The reason why we did is because we, we've got one photo that's uh, taken for the top of the beer bottle. The next photo was taken for the bottom of the beer bottle. Um, we, we had some sitting on like a regular surface, but they were blocking some of the light from the bottom. So we decided to, um, to just do these separately. So the first thing I need to do is just kind of get them uh, together. So we're gonna use our move tool and then we're going to rotate. Now, the cool thing about when you rotate uh, a layer is if you have one area that's like pretty much lined up, like I'm going to go ahead and line up the top bottle. What I'm going to do is take this pivot point, um, just zoom in so you guys can actually see what this is. This is your little pivot point, and you can move that around. So I'm going to click on that and drag it up there. Now, when I rotate my layer around, instead of rotating around the center, it's actually going to rotate right around that point, which in this case is really helpful. Um, so we can rotate that around and get it about lined up and um, we're looking pretty good. So I'm going to hit enter and we're going to bring the opacity back up on this and then I'm going to use a layer mask and we're going to just kind of mask this in. All right, so let's put a layer mask on there and I'm going to go ahead and use a relatively hard brush and there we go. We've got this area masked in. I'm going to hit command I to invert the layer mask. All right, and then on the layer mask, I'm going to paint white at 100%. So we're just combining two layers together and choose a point that's going to be transition point. I'm not too worried about this area here because we're going to actually cut out the beer bottle and um, everything's going to line up in, a, in just a minute. All right, and you can kind of just bring those together to where they look good. Now, a important thing you guys want to keep in mind is um, keeping everything uh, uniform and straight up and down. So I'm going to hit Command R and that's going to bring up our rulers and I can kind of bring in my measurement tools now these little guides and make sure everything is straight up and down and let's just make sure all the way through the center we'll just go through the center of the star there that it is straight up and down now this guy is just leaning a little bit to the right so what we're gonna do is here on this we're gonna hit command T again I'm gonna move our little guide up to the top or actually we could do the bottom here where the about where they're joining and then rotate it so it's nice and perfect There we go. So we're just making sure that our beer bottle is actually straight up and down. Um, so no one's like, hey, your beer bottle's not straight up and down. And you're like, whatever, dude. And then that's, that's that. <laughs> okay. Let's get these guys out of there and I'm gonna hit Command R again. Okay, so our beer bottle looks pretty good. Um, how much or how little you guys decide to feather the edges is totally up to you. What I would do in this is, um, I would actually choose like a relatively hard edge and that's just going to show like, um, there we go. It's going to make sure you don't want some of these like, let me just zoom in and just show you guys what I'm talking about. You don't want some of these like half visible water droplets. See how like this water droplet is like half visible? Like you either make it there or you don't. Um, and that's why I'm choosing a, l a little bit harder of an edge. So it's going to be definitive as to, you know, what is actually there and what is not as opposed to like, you know, like a half blurred away little droplet that's not going to look good um ever so don't do that all right the next thing i want to do is cut out our beer bottle this is actually not that hard to do because we photographed on a black background 
And I can't believe these are straight out of camera. That looks pretty dang good. Um, <laughs> I'm impressed. All right, we're gonna grab our magic wand tool and I'm just gonna click outside of here. We're gonna make sure sample all layers. We're gonna check that. And that's basically just gonna make a selection right outside of the beer bottle. Now, we're gonna double click on our background layer. That's just gonna turn it into a regular layer. Shift click the two of those and hit command G. That's gonna group them together. All right, then we're gonna make a layer mask out of that and then I'm gonna hit command I on my layer mask. Okay, so this is what, basically whenever you have a selection active and you click on your layer mask, it loads it into the layer mask. So this is, that area selected is now not visible. We're just gonna make sure that it is, um, you know, we get rid of this other stuff too. So I'm just gonna grab my lasso tool, go right around here. There we go, select this area, inverse my selection so it selects everything else and then fill that with black on the layer mask. And you can do that by hitting Command Delete, which will fill with your background color. All right, then let's just zoom in here and uh, you could do this with like a pen tool or you know something like that. I'm just gonna go here with the lasso tool. Now a cool tip you can do with the lasso tool is if you guys have selected a regular lasso tool, this is actually really nice. Um, you can make a selection and then if you hold down the Option key or Alt if you're on a PC and then let go, instead of completing your selection, it actually changes to the polygonal lasso tool. So I could like, you know, make a selection like this and then hold Option, let go, make a straight line and then continue my selection around like this and there we go. So you can actually, and it works the opposite with a polygonal lasso tool. Um, if you're on a polygonal lasso tool, there we go, and you're making some straight lines, you can hold Option and now you can play around however you want and when you let go of our Option, it's gonna go back to the original tool. So that's kind of cool. Okay. One thing we need to do, you can see, need to do. Um, one thing we need to take care of is this little edge here. Um, so I'm gonna click on my layer mask. We're gonna go to um, layer. Which one is it? Select, oh, it's select. Refine mask, the beer's getting to me. All right, we're gonna go select and then refine mask. I just wanna make sure that this edge here is a little bit nicer. So we're gonna bump up our feathering a little bit. I'm gonna bring up contrast a little bit. There we go, and we're actually gonna shift up this edge in ever so slightly. And you can see by shifting our edge in a little bit, now we have a nice clean edge of our bottle and we don't have to worry about that little fringe. So if you guys wanna see the before and the after with that, maybe we'll come in a tiny bit more with that. There we go. So you can see, show the original and now with our nice new fancy edge. Okay, there we go and we're perfectly cut out. So this beer bottle now is cut out it's a combination of two different layers, but we're definitely looking good. Okay, so our, our bottle's cut out, now we're gonna create the background from scratch. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to um, create a new layer, hold on Command and click under there. We're just gonna make this layer black. Um, now, this is kinda cool. If you, want to, if you wanna line up your beer bottle, make sure that it's centered on your document, document which I suggest you do. Um, you can hit Command T on like a background layer, which brings up these guides. And you have the left guide, middle guide, and right guide. Now if you hit Command R, it brings up your rulers, and you can bring a guide all the way to the center of your little transformation. Now this is, you'd think there would actually be a better way to do this, um, but there's, there's not, unfortunately, which is, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, I need to move this around. All right. My little guide here is, there we go, perfect. So that's the center of our document, meaning we need to drag our beer over to the center and we're just gonna line that up to the star. So you can see, I'm just gonna use my left arrow real quick, there we go. So now we got the center of the beer is in the center of our document, everything is nice and lined up and it looks good. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is we're gonna create this cool effect that's gonna go on um, on the background and I want it to kind of be like a starburst of an effect kind of glowing out from the beer itself So I'm gonna use my move tool. We're gonna to click and drag this away There we go. Everything is nice and lined up and on our background What I'm gonna do is grab our brush tool and I'm just gonna grab a couple of colors here. So we're gonna grab like This a dark color there. We're gonna grab a nice light color there um, we'll Grab white I'm just holding Alt or Option and grabbing a couple colors on a new layer. There we go, that looks good. And now I'm ready to make my Starburst. So the reason I put these on a new layer is um, I'm gonna make this Starburst, but I wanna be able to sample from these colors. So 
let's click on this layer and uh, we'll start off in the middle relatively light. Something like that looks pretty good. There's really not rules to this. Um, we're just kind of playing around. And you want to go from light in the middle to darker around the edges. That's, that's basically what we want. And we're going to paint around like that. So these are on two separate layers. All right, that looks cool. Now on this layer, what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter. We're going to go to uh, blur and we're going to go to radial blur. We're going to change this from spin to zoom and I'm going to pump up the amount to about 70. There we go. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a nice zoom effect. Let's go, actually, let's pump that up again. Radio blur, and we'll pump this up to about 85 or so. Okay, now this is cool. What we can continue to do is add to this as we want. So I'm going to sample these colors again. We'll sample a nice green in there, maybe even grab some white. And I'm literally just like painting around. I mean, there's no method to this at all. But it's all going to come together. Um, you hit Command F and it'll reapply the same filter. So the filter that I just had applied was the radial blur. And every time that I hit Command F, it's just going to redo it over and over again. So you can redo it and be like, no, I'm not happy with that. You know, I want more of this color in the middle there. I want this color there out towards the edges. There we go. This looks pretty good. Hit Command F a couple more times and you're going to get a, a different type of look. There we go. So pretty soon we're going to have this really cool effect that um, I think should be relatively close to done. And by using the colors in the actual bottle itself, you get, um, you get a nice representation. When I put the bottle back on top of this, it's not going to look really weird. It's going to look like, okay, yeah, that's, you know, that it fits. It's kind of like it's glowing out from the bottle. All right, there we go. That looks pretty cool. Let's make that invisible. And now we have our Heineken bottle back visible. Let's click on our layer mask. See, there's a little bit of a line there. I just need to fix that on our layer mask. So we'll go to our layer mask and just make a selection around here. Fill that with black. There we go. So we have our colors and they're kind of coming out from the middle of the, of the glass there, which is great. Um, the next thing I want to do is we're going to put a little bit more of a glow and then we're almost done. What's our time? All right, 12 minutes. That's not bad. We're going to put a bit more of a glow right around the bottle itself. So I'm going to grab a curves adjustment layer. You guys know that I love curves. If you guys have been watching Flurn for any period of time, you know that I love curves. They're great. Um, let's paint. I filled the layer mask with black and now I'm just painting with white on my layer mask. You can't see anything. But now let's bump up the curves. There we go. And you can kind of see what this looks like. The coolest thing you can do is um, with this curves adjustment layer, I can hit Command F again and it's going to apply the same filter. You guys can see that, it's pretty cool. It's gonna apply the same filter that it applied on our, you know, on our background layer, now on the curves layer. So this is what our curves adjustment layer actually looks like. All right, let's grab a little bit more color in here. I'm gonna grab this color here, we're gonna paint it around, and I'm gonna change this from normal, we're gonna change to uh, color dodge. There we go, and this is gonna really just kind of light up that bottle and hit Command F a couple times. And there we go. And if it's too much, what I would recommend doing is grabbing your eraser tool and kind of erasing around some of these areas and then just hit Command F again. So we really have this nice, like, you know, blur kind of coming from the bottle, which is perfect. And I think that the, uh, the bottle looks a tiny bit off-centered. Um, so either we're going to off-center the bottle or we're going to off-center the blur. Let's go, go ahead and push the bottle a little to the right. There we go. Now it looks a little bit better. Okay, the last thing I want to do for this tutorial before we start bringing in all of the flare and everything like that, we're going to command click on the bottle layer mask. All right, then on top of that, I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to fill that with black. Okay, so on top of our bottle, we have a black layer. I'm going to double click on this. We're going to go to our layer style here. Okay, and I'm going to put an outer glow onto the outside of our bottle. Let's just bring our size up a little bit there. Okay, and you can change this blend, blending mode. You can do whatever you want here. I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna do color dodge again. So we have a nice little glow there. And change your size to make it, you know, not 
uh, annoying. That's what I would recommend do, doing. <laughs> there we go. Now you're like, well, why did you fill this with black? The reason is you need something to have like a layer effect actually, uh, you know, apply to. Like you, you can't have a layer effect create a glow on nothing. So we had to have something on that layer. And um, that's why I filled it with black. But the cool thing is you can go to, if you guys remember from previous episodes, the difference between fill and opacity. If I go to opacity and change this back down to zero, it changes, it gets rid of the black and it gets rid of the glow. But if I change the fill, it changes, it gets rid of the black, but the glow remains. So this is what this layer is. It's just a glow right around the bottle. The fill continues to be, sorry, the fill you can see is here at zero. If I pump that up, it's gonna show the black, but with the fill at a zero and the opacity at 100, you can see all of it. All right, this layer was just created to, you know, have some of those colors. So you can delete that, shift click these layers. We're gonna keep all of these together. And there we go. We have our Heineken and it's on a black background with a cool like lighting effect coming out of it. And if that's all you wanted to do, um, that's totally cool too. If you wanted to do more than that, um, feel free to do you know whatever you want. But this is the start of our tutorial and the next time we're going to be taking splashes and bringing them together. <sighs> I talked a lot, I need a... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's how you do Photoshop. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching Flurn. I'll flurn you later. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Ernest. I'm a Photoshop.